All praise is due to Yahweh, our Shem, Yahweh Shah. All right, Shalom to the brothers. All praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honor city apostle, Gray Millstone. All right, today's video is called Be Humble, Sit Down. All right, quick quote on being humble. All right, is be humble because you could be wrong. All right, there's another quote on humble. It, it, that is, be humble on the outside, be confident on the inside. Uh, Shalom to you brothers out there Double honors to the Apostle Gray Millstone Shalom and salutations to the elect To the brothers watching this video um, I want to talk briefly about being humble And the first scripture that comes to mind Is this Ecclesiastes 2 and 4 it says uh, Goes on to say what, what, Whatever is brought upon thee Take cheerfully Okay because Cheerfully, meaning literally, cheerfully, man. Feel good about it, man. Feel good about the persecution that comes, man. Don't be one of these guys that whenever you persecute it, you get into a super, super, super sad, melancholy, woe is me spirit. Be the opposite, man. What does that take? That takes humility. That takes humility because when you're brought to these lower states or when you... You know the, the hardships that's brought upon you to reverse it and to make it seem like it's all good that takes a lot of um, internal strength man and brothers we out here as examples to many 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 men many of these men who look at us all the time watch us diligently seeking how they can alter who they are and perfect who they are through what they see to us we are the leaders all right and we want to teach the flock humility man there's a power in humility so the scripture in ecclesiastics is 22 and 4 once again it says when whatever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient with that all brought to a low state because when you're brought down low you got to be patient man don't move don't react too quick all right and that humility should be taken over. You want to be the type of guy, okay? You want to be the, that type of guy, man. That guy that when he comes up, he's enduring the problem. He's grinning through the whole thing, man. Because what are we anyway, man? We just dust in the wind, as the saying goes. We just men that the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah chose to wake up the flock, man. So we have weaknesses. We shouldn't be proud enough not to uh, uh, speak about our weaknesses. I'm not saying be proud to, to, you know, I'm not saying act like you're not going through anything, but in the same light, yeah. Take it on cheerfully. I, I actually, take it on cheerfully, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, it literally means take it on cheerfully. All the things we go through as, as a nation, all the things we're going through as prophets of the Lord, confident, man. Wear that, wear that confidence, man. And wear the humility on the outside, like the quote says, man. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt not to let everybody know what you're going through on the outside. You could talk to, a, to a certain, you know, you certain brothers you open up to. But guess what? The rest may never know if they don't ask because you're not walking around with that lowly, super, woe is me spirit. So when you see a brother, you know, he's laughing, he's cracking a joke, that don't mean he ain't going through nothing. All right? So it's just a matter of fact. Be calm. All right? As the last video I made on this channel, be calm, keep calm, be calm, man. Take a deep breath, man. I see so many people on a daily basis getting aggravated, man. When you're in this truth long enough and you learn about endurance, you learn about taking hardships and you learn about dealing with it and not running from it, and not flighting, fleeing, but fighting back. You see that the problems that regular people in this world deal with, all people, 
is so mediocre, it's so small, trivial, and you just be like, yo, why are you spazzing out over that? Or why are you letting that person get to you? A quote that my stepfather used to tell me a lot is don't sweat the small stuff. Small stuff is anything that has nothing to do with this truth and does not deserve that much attention. Treat it like it's small. You can psych yourself out of things being that big, man. Just like your emotions could play with you and your mind could play tricks on you, you can play tricks right back. Tell yourself, man, this ain't nothing, man. What am I getting in trouble for? What the hell am I talking about? All I need, man, let me take a walk. Take a walk. Be right back. Give yourself, be patient. Now I'm brought to a lower state. Give yourself time to think about it, man. You know, so with that being said, I'm gonna bring out at least two or three more scriptures. And um, be humble, sit down. So, Proverbs 22 and 4. By humility and fear the Lord are riches, honor, and life. The fear of the Lord, okay? Is that the other scriptures that say in Luke, there's a scripture that says, uh, He that is esteemeth himself shall be abased. He that is a babe shall be exalted. Uh, you know, not quoting a verbatim. A good way and a good tip to uh, remain humble is to always uh, esteem others, man. Always esteem others, man. Never esteem yourself, man. Try to get out of talking about yourself, man, unless you're doing a video, or unless a brother asks, or unless, you know. But, you know, work out, work out that habit of um, talking about yourself and try to talk about uh, give other brothers a nod give other men a nod let everybody else get a chance to be great as great as you you know so um, there it is man riches honor and life are in the fear of the Lord and humility don't sleep on the humble brother in the eyes of the Lord he might be a great man alright so uh, that concludes the video Shalom and remember, be humble and sit your ass down every once in a while. Shalom.